Um, uh, there's a couple of things I want to get I want to get set up with you guys when it comes to um, uh, getting things ready for everything. Did I already do the golden button for everybody? What the fuck no. does that mean? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Um, in the top right hand corner. Basic uh, action macros. Um, yeah. Yeah, we did that already. Okay, we did I, that. I okay, we did that. That's what that meant. Oh, uh, I, yeah, yeah. The, the, hot bar, the hot okay. bar button. The hot bar. The hot bar. In the okay. hot bar, there's a golden button. It, it's the basic it's, macro. It's gold. Yeah. Basic macro. Okay. Yes, we did do that. Uh, okay. Okay. Just making sure. Just making sure. <laughs> um, second thing. Uh, did I go? I went over the character sheet and how it all works. Correct. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, I went over uh, everybody's character, if I remember, and made sure that everybody was okay and safe with what they got and everything. And gave advice. Does anyone have anything they wanted to ask at this point about their character and their character sheet, specifically like mechanics and stuff like that? It's okay. If, it's okay if it's a no. It's okay if it's a no. I'm 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 personally gonna wing it. We'll fuck around okay, and find yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. No, that's 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 perfectly way, perfect good way, perfectly good way to go about it. You can wing it. I'm I'm okay with you with you changing things, especially on the fly. I understand that it's not the easiest thing to to uh to 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 to, to get into a new system, especially when it's a little, just a tiny bit more crunchy than. Um, D and D. I like just it. Just a but, little. Just a little. Just a little. It's honestly, uh, as, as at least with Foundry, a lot of it's automated now, so it's like, so like a lot of the, you don't have to think about numbers too much. You just hit button and button do everything for you. I've already um, decided our uh, in person group will never switch to Pathfinder, even don't, if uh, don't even if it. like I have a deep desire to, which I don't necessarily think I will, but just like even if I did, no, we're not. <laughs> nope, nope. I played don't with do them. It. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> They'd all die. It would be very sad. Um, Marissa all right. sometimes forget IRL to use her proficiency bonus. Oh. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> That's very her. <laughs> She's only been playing <laughs> since 2017. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> Look, the game is only like 15 years old. <laughs> She's been playing as long as I have. That's funny. Uh, all right. So, uh, what I will go, I what I will do first is I will explain the scene, Otari itself, uh, giving you the little blurb that the that the module has, and then I will uh get some get some information from you all about your character. Uh, based on that, and I will give you guys some time to think about like how you want to incorporate what I'm about to give you into your character. Uh, I know that you, I haven't given you a lot of information when it comes to Galaria, Galarian place and everything. You won't need to know about that stuff in the actual campaign, so don't worry about the, don't worry too much about the like the world itself. You guys are going to be probably in an isolated area. Once we get once we get fully into no the swing, where we're from, yeah. Um, but yeah, it will matter about where you're from and what you want to be and do and stuff like that. Uh, let me know if there's anything, any particular place that you had in mind, so I can maybe match up to somewhere on the map. Uh, but I, I, I will, I'll tell you guys right now, don't worry about too much about where you're from. I have seen your backstories. They're, you guys have it pretty fleshed out, say for you, Noah, but you're, you're, Noah, yours is like, yours is a bit open ended, and I appreciate that when it comes to yeah, that's how I can, great. yeah, so it's where in terms of like, I can, I can work with that and stuff like that. But everybody else, like, say for location, you guys are pretty good. So good job. All right. So, Here's your little blurb. Here's the setting, the scene. Uh, the small side seaside town of Otari is known for its fresh fish and skilled sailors, but above all, it's a logging town. A big logging town, provi- uh, providing valuable wood to nearby metropolis of Absalom. But for you, Otari is home. 
You grew up playing on the docks, getting lost in the nearby woods, and hearing the fantastical stories of travelers from faraway lands, tales of terrifying dragons and virtuous knights. Such adventures always seem so distant. Until today! Word has begun to spread around Otari that there's a problem down at the Otari fishery. Some are saying that some sort of beast is lurking in the basement, feeding on the stores of the salted fish. Folks are worried that whatever is eating the fish might get hungry enough to eat the fishers next. So you've received a letter from Tamily Tandervale. She is the owner of the fishery. She, inside, and inside the letter that she has sent to you, uh, she has a desperate plea for help. With a town guard normally busy with protecting the loggers, she needs a few brave souls to venture down into the basement of her warehouse and put an end to the beast that's feasting on her fish. So, you guys up for the challenge? Feasting. Fish. I suppose so. All right. So, uh, what if given... I want to eat the fish? That, uh, th you know, that can be a part of the reward. <laughs> Free fish. Uh, given that information, you guys are not strictly needing to be from Otari. I don't care, really. Uh, but that said, you need to be in Otari for a reason. I'll give you guys some, some time to think about it. As well as I would like to actually start off a bit with everybody kind of describing their character so that we can maybe get a feel if anybody would know each other pre pre you know adventure you know maybe maybe you guys have talked to each other been in otari with each other you know that kind of thing um so let's start with the a names hex Hex is not an A name. <laughs> yes, it say. is. No, it a totally name. is. It totally I was is. Say, for those who are uh, um, not A names in game, we're in A names out of game. So, like, God fucking damn it. Welcome oh, to hell. Oh, oh, <laughs> Your turn, Alex. Let's oh, go. Oh, Jesus Christ. What, will be, what have we done? What the fuck have we done? <laughs> Jesus Christ. How do you guys do this? Why do you do this every one of my campaigns? I hate this! <laughs> this is going to be a fucking disgruntled dad that goes through every name he can think of. Oh, this no. wasn't even planned. This, this is great. Or it wasn't. Uh, You'll never know. However, uh, Alicia and I don't mind starting because we talked a bit about potentially knowing each other. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, we were thinking that perhaps when she was running through the woods, uh, I, being a ranger, could have also been hunting in the woods, mm -hmm. come across the blood trail and been like, damn, this, this deer I shot is bleeding a lot. That's not a deer. That's a person. And... You nearly killed Alicia. I no, mean, I didn't I shoot her. That. I shot a deer. I fucking... <laughs> I, mean, I shot a deer. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck this bitch is. This conversation's happened before. <laughs> All right. I I did attack him. Oh, that was... <laughs> but I, I I lived. I lived, bitch. <laughs> All right. All right. That's 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 a good start. That's a good start. All right. So, uh, why don't you guys describe your character? to everybody else. Uh, I would just like a um, a, uh, a a brief description as to uh, as to look and then um, just like maybe like a one word or one sentence thing about their temperament. You don't have to go too too detailed into like their personality and everything like that. We'll figure that out later. You guys are good at that. All right, I hope well, you go first. No, we all suck at personality. We have none. No personality. Um. Yeah. Uh. Landon is technically a half orc, though. I think he, or technically, he's not a half orc because I didn't do that. 
I just went orc orc, but he's a half orc because his dad is a human. Um, did you want to be a half orc, or did you want to no, use I... the orc? Was you did you want to use the orc uh, ancestry? I, I'm pretty happy with the orc ancestry stuff that I got. Okay, all right. But story wise, he is a half orc. Um, he's pretty tall uh except not really because i've played taller half works um but green curly hair and always has this kind of smile about him he's very eager to go on an adventure i had imagined he wasn't necessarily from the town we're in that's him imagined he sold sold the house that he and his mentor were living in to pay off basically the funeral debts and went off looking for adventure and a sea, the local seaside town seemed like a good place to either find some or get a ride somewhere that where there was some that's fair Alicia. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, personality? Um, like I said, I think the big thing he comes across as is probably eager to do something. Okay. Okay, Alicia. All right, I am playing Rona. She, uh very much looks like a wild child. She looks like she was raised by wolves uh, and doesn't like she is covered in dirt and grimes and cuts and scrapes. She doesn't really seem to mind them that much. Um, she is also wearing the pelt of a dead wolf, it looks like. And uh, she seems incredibly energetic and oh what's the right word for it i guess daredevilish she's the kind of person she's like hey do you bet me to jump off that and you're like no i don't she's like oh my god i can't believe you're making me do this that's so crazy of you and she starts heading to it you're like no i didn't i didn't say anything about that so the opposite of blue when it comes to romance. What's a I romance? Think. Okay. <laughs> Do you eat it? All right. Uh, now the A names. The in-game A names. The... Yeah, in-game A names, not the other A names. I'll go next. All right. Uh, I imagine she's not from the town. And okay. I imagine she is, like, probably getting off the boat as this is starting. Okay. If that makes sense to the backstory. Yep. Uh, were you? Would you say that you were from a big city? Uh, she would be coming from a big city, but okay. she would not be that, from a big city. Yeah, that, that's fair. That's fair. All right. So she'd probably be loading off of one of the... The uh, small little, probably not small, like kind of a bigger, like, fishing boat. Uh, her name is Azira. And uh, she looks unkept. She's very pale. Um, and her hair is long, long white hair. And it's almost looks like a bird nest-esque craziness. She has a little panther that's following her around as she gets off the boat. And she glides almost with a unnatural grace. Almost as she holds herself proper, but not, but very, keeps a low profile at the same time. Um, what else? That, that's it. Um, she's not afraid to speak her mind. And she's sassy. All right. Anybody else? We got two left. Uh, 
Don't talk at once. I'll describe you. Noah's character for him. Let's see. What do we, <laughs> we got going on here? <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll go next. Um, uh, Essie is uh, a, a dark-skinned woman. She's kind of lanky and uh, is, is dressed in, well, basically a, uh, a simple... Uh, simple gown but she's also wearing armor over it so she's wearing like like leather armor like it's uh an outfit that's been repurposed as adventuring garb and uh <clears throat> she carries herself in much the same way as uh our our previous example uh she is uh always graceful in her action she is a, a dancer and so she's constantly doing things that are like a little bit flourishy, like it's a second nature to uh, to accentuate a, a movement. Um, she's uh, reserved as as a uh, as an attitude. I think that's it. Okay. Um, she's probably here looking for leads on where her curse may have came from, but uh, she's also just looking to explore the world on her own as well. So that's easy, easy reason for you to be her to be there. All right, and our final person. Oh, <clears throat> um, my character is named Avery. Uh, they them pronouns. I might fuck it up a few times because my brain is stuck in a loop for whatever reason. Uh, they are normal-ish height. I think. I think. I. I think I rolled like five seven. Um, Pale has a lot of tattoos, bright pink hair that's kind of done up in like a half bun, like messy half bun, um, has, you know, some pretty colorful clothing on and accessories, um, a lyre on their back and the sword at their hip. Um, they probably came here because they've never seen the ocean before, and this is, like, the closest place they could get to. Yeah. Uh, personality? Uh, sunny. Like, sunshine. This and when other you... lies you tell me. <laughs> No. When you when you said they were carrying a liar, I you just started with a liar, and I was like, oh, they're a liar. Oh, cool. No, 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 uh, no, no. Interesting. No, no. Uh, no, interesting no. lead. Uh, I didn't statements. want to say guitar. No, I I think a a liar is a valid instrument for your character to be carrying uh, in the time period. And not I just... say a banjo. <laughs> I'm not a liar. I'm carrying a liar. Well, I mean, the, second, the, the, the first one's to be determined. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I'm not mm. lying, Chris. Mm. I'm looking at Avery's trained skills, and I see deception is one of them. Listen. I don't know. <laughs> and I lying don't know. is lying. <laughs> not the same. Uh, mm, mm, you know... Mm, mm. Mm. Just likely to be. <laughs> no, I tease, I tease. All right. Uh, there is one other thing I would like to do, which is give you a, your next campaign's hook. Uh, this is just the first stop on the way to the city of uh, Diabel. I think that's the name of the city. Hold on one second. Let me make sure. Yes, Diabel. Uh, Diabel. Diabel is on the uh, western 
uh western side of the island that you guys are on you guys you guys are on an island already but it's not much of an island it's it's pretty fucking big um it's just the rest of the world is way bigger that said uh you you were on your way there as you have heard tales of a kind of a new styled adventure uh that's supposed to head you out west now various people in their uh in their backstories have had uh reasons that they are adventuring that reason is west whether that be you know for very uh simple reasons or for very uh magical reasons it is west but this is just the first stop and you're not expected to be there for at least another month that said otari needs help uh we'll say instead of a letter uh Miss uh, Tandervale was asking around, looking for someone, anyone, that would be of assistance. Uh, I guess the next question would be, Landon and Rona, are you, would you two be in town together? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we had talked about our characters traveling together. Mm-hmm. Okay. You two would probably be the first she approaches, as um, you two look the most like adventurers at this point. What do you mean? Uh, we look well-traveled. Yeah, they look normal. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all the dirt. Yep, it's the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I will These look uh, like hobos. They must be adventurers. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> look, no, she wouldn't. She wouldn't assume homelessness. Okay. She would if assume I just adventure. Sold my house. Am I homeless? I guess I am. Right. <laughs> I'm homeless. You could be houseless. Maybe not homeless. All right. No, I'm uh, homeless. Let me activate Otari for a second. The forest is your home. Uh, you guys can see the map. Oh no, I lost right? that. Yes, I see it. All right. Um, can you guys see little uh, little small little um, map uh, icons? There's no icons. Um, I see people's mouses, but no mo no. Okay. Yeah. No. Things. That's 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 what it's that's what it's supposed to be. Just making sure. No icons. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah, no icons. All right, so uh, let me see if I can show the show Miss Tandervale. Uh, let me know if it shows every single NPC ever. <laughs> Got it. It probably will. Fuck. I wish to only I wish to I wish to only be able to show this specific document. That seems oh, wait, like I can. a very can. big oversight if you can't do that. <laughs> I can. Haha. -ha. Ooh. So it only shows Miss uh, the yep. the woman yep. on the screen, right? Yep. And uh, you're not able to look at anything else. Nope. Nope. All right. Don't perfect. even see your name. All right. Perfect. Sure. This is it. This is Miss Tamily Tandervale. She's uh, terrifying. <laughs> she is a halfling, and um, she approaches uh. Landon and Rona, I let's say that you two are let's say in the market. What are you two doing in the market? 
Uh, we are buying food. Be because we need food. Mm hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, you made me stop eating in the trash cans. I suggested that that would increase the number of weird looks we would get, which is not helpful to your cause. <laughs> All right. As she uh, sees you two and approaches and says, Hi. Um, hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, are, do you... I see the bow and... Uh, would you happen to be good at hunting? I, I, I like to think so. Um. Oh yeah, great, great, great. Perfect, actually. Um, I have a, a small... Maybe, maybe not small pest problem. You see, in my basement... There's been some attacks happening on my on my crates of fish. I, I kind I, I keep them down in the basement, and I was hoping somebody could take care of that, maybe for for some for compensation. I was hoping you and maybe some others might be able to assist. Uh, well, I've never gone hunting in a basement before, but. I'm just scared to go down there. It, I've seen what the the damage that they've done, and it's it's, and I hear noises, and it's bad. We could give it a look. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find some others to join you. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to I'll be able to get a, get together a group and you guys can go down there and see and if nothing happens I'll still pay you anyways sounds good and uh she dashes off hey you wanted for us to pay for dinner they're gonna pay us for dinner I don't know if the vermins and her basement are going to be edible but we can see <laughs> what what is an edible I don't know if I'm going to want to eat the things in her basement but we can see more for me as Tamily turns the corner and um uh, she runs right into a, uh, into a, an assy. What would you be doing at this time as you're, as you're walking through the streets of Otari? She's probably just like looking around at the, uh, the scene in general. Like what points of interest are there in this town? <laughs> And I can get I can give you a, a bit of it. Uh as soon as my dog decides, you know that the There's people the outside the 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 that the people outside who are standing around this car are not a danger or a threat. Alert. Oh guys, we're gonna have to bring back the squeaky toy. <laughs> Please no. Please no. That the, many an interruption happened through the most important parts of my game. <laughs> so, hi! It's okay. I don't want to clo close off your entertainment, but if you're gonna bark at it, I don't want to. I don't want you to look at it. You gonna stop? I'm gonna walk away now. You bark again. I'm gonna have some problems. Okay. Don't do it. So yeah, there's a, a market uh, that's got your basic goods. Uh, it's, you know, adventuring gear, some light armor, some simple weapons, god fucking damn it. Uh, there is also uh, a merchant that sells... Uh, 
that sells or rather that buys uh wolf pelts as uh the loggers are usually inactively uh being attacked by wolves as they have been um something's been going on that's been driving them to uh attack the loggers as of recently and that is why the guards are not very present in otari itself dog problem mm-hmm i see but as you're like moving around and everything uh tamily actually actually bumps right into you and she's a halfling so yeah she she's a halfling so she's the one that bounces back um and she says oh i'm so so oh you're new here i guess sorry and she'll like did she like fall over or... yeah yeah she'll, let's say she'll let's say she fell over and, scra and scraped it scraped her scraped her leg a little bit yeah she'll she'll lean down and pick her up and just like oh i'm i'm sorry i wasn't looking where i was going oh no it's not a problem i it, it happens it's I, I, I get it. It's nothing, really. As you can see, her leg, it's scraped, it's bleeding, but it's not like, you know, that, that profuse bleeding of, like, a bad scratch or anything. It's just, you know... Oh my god, her leg is broken. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can't believe you killed this woman. <laughs> Alright, well, she'll, she'll take it at her word that she's not really hurt, so... Mm -hmm. But, um, you're not from here. Are, are, are you looking for work, or, um... Uh, there are not many reasons to come to Otari. It depends on what kind of work you're offering. Well, I don't presume to know what you, what it is that you do, but, uh... uh I'm a healer. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's perfect! I, I, ju I just had a couple of people, uh... Those people over there, they, they, uh, they're going to assist me with a with a, a small pest problem in my basement. I don't know if it's pests. I don't know what's going on. It's really scary, but they could use some help, and I would be willing to compensate everyone for their time. C certainly. Yes. Yeah, just this, those two over there. The, um, the, the, the tall, handsome or orc over there, and the, uh, uh, the one that's... She looks a little dirty. Um... I didn't want to be rude. All right, I'll, uh, I'll join them then. Yes, uh, if you all would make your way to the Atari fishery, I, I forgot to tell them. I'm so I'm just fishery. so frantic. Yes, the fishery. Uh, it's uh, over by the dock. You can't miss it. I should. And uh, she uh, runs off towards the fishery. Uh, at, as uh, uh, you, I assume, proceed towards the mm. other two. Yeah, she'll walk up to them and uh, just like uh, address Landon, I suppose. Um, you are helping um, the halfling woman with the fishery. Yeah. Oh, um, shit. She didn't tell us where we were. Fishery. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't catch yeah. her name either. But yes. Uh, hi. I'm Landon. This is... Are, are you hiding who you are? Alicia? You know, <laughs> she gets so close up to your face. No, she's she, not hiding who she is. <laughs> she gets real close up to your face and is like sniffing. <laughs> you smell nice. You Rana, I, I told you people don't think that that's like I'm sorry. Acceptable. I'm <laughs> oh, am I am I not supposed to tell them they smell nice? Well, it's more the like aggressive sniffing, though probably the smell nice. Uh, it's a little strange. I'm Assy. Uh, I'm here to uh, 
be your healer, I suppose. What's your name? Essie. Assy? Yep. It's a funny name. I know. Yeah, I think telling someone just, their name is funny is that. like also not typically considered uh, polite, Rona. Why are there so many rules? I don't know. Life's very complicated for almost no reason. Was that Noah sure. or was that? <laughs> That's an assy speaking. <laughs> but I agree. Uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, Hex, what do you do as you get off the dock? Or onto the dock, I suppose. From getting off of your, your little uh, voyage from Absalom. She definitely tries to find a fresh fish for her little panther. Is there any, like, fish buckets or anything like that as she's walking on the decks towards... There's no fish buckets, but there is clearly a fishery right there in front of you. Ah, yeah, well, I guess I have to buy it. She'll start walking towards the fishery. She, too, is a little hungry, but she's not going to, you know, partake in... Mm -hmm. Raw fish. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to pause you for a second. I have a question for you. Avery, what are you doing at this time in Otari? Um, probably taking the main road, looking around, seeing if there's a way to see the ocean from a good viewpoint. Actually, there is. Um... Crazy enough, the main road that you're talking about, mm -hmm. uh, you is almost directly in the path of where this halfling woman is walking, and she sees you. And what are you wearing again? You you have the lyre, but do you have a weapon? Oh uh, yeah, like he ha they have the um, rapier on their hip. Yep. Yep. Uh, passing by you, she stops, turns. Hi! Um, question. Uh, you're new here, too. What do you do? Me? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm a bit new around here. Uh, I just came to see the ocean. Are, do you live around here, ma'am? Yes, actually, I live at the, the fishery over by the dock. Um, if you wanted to see the ocean, that's fine, but I actually, I have, I see the rapier on your, on your, on your waist there, and I was, I was looking for some people who might be good with weapons and stuff. I have a couple of people coming anyways, and I was hoping that you might be able to, uh, assist me. Or assist them. You'd be compensated. Oh, uh, looks down up their rapier. I mean, I mean, I say I'm pretty good at using it, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, sh whatever. You I'm I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Oh, I'm sorry. Name's Tamily, Tamily Tandervale. I Tamily. run the Atari Atari Fishery, so I have a little bit of a pre uh, a little bit of a problem. There's some there's some uh, there's something in my basin, and I assume it's animals. Oh. But I'm way too small, and I can barely hold a knife uh, to to hurt someone to like rats so, or i i don't know i hear noises every night it's it's get, it's getting been getting worse i don't want to go down there anymore hmm well and looks around the village is this like a village or a town yeah it's a village it's village. a it's a it's a it's a town it's it's a village that's like on the precipice of becoming a town you know right. it's like it's it's growing but it hasn't grown enough okay Oh, well, um, it's a bit bigger than what I'm used to, but I came from a smaller village like this. I'm used to handling pest problems. So, uh, yeah, I, c I can go take a look. 
thanks. Uh, a, a couple more people are going to be on their way. Um, as soon as as soon as uh, as soon as they are, you all can go down there and take care of it. And uh, she'll she'll gesture to for you to follow her and quickly moves uh, towards the, the the fishery. All right, I will follow. And as you as you do, you can see uh, this other woman walking up to uh, the fishery itself. Uh, Hex. You see the the sign on the fishery. It says closed. The 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 panther at your side meow uh, side meows very very softly. Well, Umbrella, looks like we're gonna have to fish up our own dinners tonight. It seems. Well, hell. And. As you, as you, uh, you know, begin to turn away, uh, you see this halfling woman running up. Oh, are you, are you looking to, to eat? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I just had to close it for a few moments. I apologize. I had to go, <laughs> I had to go looking around for things. Um, j don't worry. I, I can open it up one second. Oh, where did I put my keys? My keys, my keys, my keys, and she starts like fumbling around and everything. She like, tur like points to like your back box. Like I think they're right there. Ah! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. And uh, she opens the opens the door, and uh, you see uh, this other person walk up, right behind uh, the woman. As, well, aren't uh, you colorful? Oh, thank you. I mean, they look down at, like their tattoos, assuming that's only what they're talking about. Compared to what she's wearing, all black, <laughs> you stand out like a like ball of sunshine. Hey, Hex. Yeah. She's there. Right at the edge of your current vision, you see her. And she kind of glides into the building as Tamily opens the door. Right. After you. And Tamily opens the door. Okay, here. Uh, go ahead, sit down anywhere you like. Uh, I can um, I can uh, get you something in just a second. I have a few people coming in. I just need to talk to them, and then I'll get started on your meal. Uh, Azira looks around. Does she see her? Nope. Uh, as you enter the fishery, it's a very, it, it looks much like a, a tavern. Um, it's kind of got the setup of like benches and tables and everything like that. Uh, it's got the, it's got the bar to the side. Uh, it's very much empty at this time. Uh, but it seemed it was only empty due to her being out. You must get a lot of uh, business being, uh, you know, like a like a fishing town, right? Oh yes, yes. If people come that come off the dock immediately come to me. Uh, hold on one second. As she uh, looks at, she looks at Avery. Uh, you can come in. Um, and she pokes her head out the door and sees the other three walking up, and she kind of does a does a little wave to the to the to you three. Okay. I wave back. I don't move. I just wave back. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up the pace. Are, are we stopping walking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I stopped to wave, and then when I realized you guys were still going, I caught up. I. I I mean this like in a, a not mean way, Rona. Um, uh, 
are you capable of waving and walking at the same time? Every time you wave at someone, you stop. Because <laughs> you can, like, do this. <laughs> I mean, like, I guess I could do both. Most of the time, like, when I'm waving, she, like, she's kind of, like, jumping as she waves. So it's hard to do that and then walk and then wave at the same time. Uh, I, yeah, I, I guess, yeah, if you jump up and down when you wave. Um, like the frantic waving, not like a small wave. It's yeah. like the full no, arm oh, body huge. wave. Yeah. It's a whole body thing. It's, it's a whole jumping jack, right? Yes. Uh, I, well, I suppose if I, I waved like you waved, I wouldn't be able to walk either. Um, anyway. <laughs> I assume you three come in and come into the fishery. Yep. Um, as you three come into the fishery, uh, you see the other two. Uh, she will mention, uh, like, kind of gesture to the four of you to to come towards the bar, mm -hmm. and um, as you do, you see uh, this kind of trap door uh it's not like one of those like ladder down trap doors it's definitely like a, a a basement situation where you know open up the door and it just goes it leads to a set of stairs and heads downwards it is very very dark uh you don't hear anything as of right now but it might be because it's a little far you're not really sure um, hold on one second. I'm getting a phone call that I was not expecting. Alright. Sounds like a very active fishery for just being opened. <laughs> Well, you know. Is that dice or is that ice That's shaking? Dice. Okay, it's dice. Well, that's okay. Dice. Okay. I couldn't figure it out. Then this entire time I'm like, is it dice or is it a shaker? I was thinking just... it was like a I was like, is that Coca-Cola getting poured <laughs> in a glass? <laughs> ah yes, the old key Yoka Cola, hello? Yoka Cola. Yoka Cola. Yoka Cola. Yoka Cola. <laughs> <laughs> it exists now. Made of uh, chicken eggs. <laughs> like I egg love going dog. to Hard Tennessee, Cola. Tennessee McDonald's and getting my Yoka Cola. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, my license plates finally came in, so Woo. yay! Yay! Yeah. Yep. So they are. It's officially mine. Hell yeah! Uh, all right. So, um. Esir, do you do you come in and sit down at a bench or a table or something like that? Wait, who me? You yes. yes. Yeah, no, I would I would sit like at a table close to mm -hmm. a bar, but not at the bar. Yeah, yeah, sure. Umbra runs, you know, bounds over, pulls a chair out for itself, and hops onto the chair and like sits there patiently as well. Mm -hmm. And then uh uh, Tamily will, uh, for the other four, will gesture to the, uh, to the, to the trap door, the, 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 the depths, the basement therein, to, for, for everybody else, and say, that this is, this is where it is, it, 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 the, where, where everything's coming from, this is my basement, um, again, I'll, I'll compensate you well, as, as soon as you find out what's going on, uh, I'd appreciate you, you know, taking a look. Alrighty. Avery glances at like the four of them and is like, "Must be a lot of noise for four people to be looking." Yeah, I've been putting it off. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I get a bit scatterbrained. I don't do very well with um. Th th there's a lot I have to do and very little time to do it. And she kind of gestures to Asir. I even have a customer already, and I barely opened up. 
She'll wave at the group present. over there. Uh, See, as you do, she's there. She's pointing. Where's your cat? Uh, sitting next to me on its own chair, looking very cute and very polite. Demure. Very mindful. Oh, very mindful. One. I grab the cat. Is this what's doing it? Oh, she will stop. She will grab your hand before you touch her cat. Okay. Or she'll try. No, that's fair. It's if you grab her hand, you grab her. She's, she is trying to nab it, but it's totally. I. You definitely could grab her hand. And by cat, I, we're talking about like a, a a big cat type, right? Like. Panthers. I, I believe it's it was described as a panther. Yeah. I mean, okay. it's. I oh. think it's still tiny. He's a, he's yeah, when he's, he's a baby. baby. When he's, he's a, a baby. Younger, I just he's thought it was a black cat. Yeah, okay. it's a baby. Big, it's bigger a baby. cat. Bigger, like it's a mancoon a... kind of. No, okay. no, it's a baby. It's tiny. Yeah, okay. It's a baby. I don't mind you petting Umbro, but please be respectful and ask first. Oh, no, I was trying to kill it. We'll catch it first. Huh? <laughs> that's See, that's part of the job. I look over at the other people. <laughs> you can't just do that. That's so I, I I don't think that's one of the pests. Oh. No, I I, I no 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 no. That was she. The, 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 it, she came in with 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 that one there. What pest are you talking about? Um. So Is it safe to eat here. <laughs> I, it's safe to eat. I, the, nothing has come up. Nothing has come up. It's not a problem. Um, but it, it's, it's so. There's this thing. There's just been a lot of noise in my basement. I'm getting scared. I'm getting worried. I just don't want to go down there. And I, I like it if some people who you know had a handle on themselves went down them that went down there personally and checked it out. I can offer you some assistance. I like helping people. Oh, oh. Uh, are you are you well versed in the sword or? Not particularly the sword, but I've been known to make things uh, blow up. Oh, magic. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's great. That's perfect. Yeah, if you could help them, again, I'm willing to pay as much as I need to. Okay. Just don't harm my. Don't harm Ember or Umbra, okay? Looks at. I, I don't even know your name. Rona. Oh, my name's Rona. Nice to meet you. A pleasure. Uh, Azira. I start to get close to smell, but I stop. It looks real weird, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thinks about she, sniffing, doesn't sniff. She <laughs> leans closer. Are you gonna tell me a secret? I was gonna smell you. Oh. Not the weirdest thing I've seen. Or heard Rona? of. I look over at Landon very confused. <laughs> <laughs> Ro like Rona? that kind of like hurt dog, like like you told me I couldn't do that. <laughs> I I there it, it, if yes, if you get permission to sniff, I guess it's fine. <laughs> anyway, Rona, like, as hey. you sniff, uh huh, it smells like nothingness. Like you know, when whenever you're you've been you've been in like a cave or something like that, like that, it's that stale air of like of dank. like uh, uh, it's not not dank, just the stale air. Like there's not much. To smell. You smell weird. See, yeah, see that that's that's kinda okay. You know what? Never mind. I'm going down this these stairs and um <laughs> other people can follow me or I can go die. Uh anyway, bye. Whoa. No no don't don't die don't die. <laughs> All right, and I will move you guys to the first floor. I'll just get it. Just need to get it to the 
to the... So if I'm just not vermin, what is it? I believe that's a cat. Are those not vermin? No. We'll Talk make something. Most people. Uh, Landon is going down first, right? Sounds like it. Yep. He's going to eat his ass down those stairs. <laughs> All right. Uh, question for you. Uh, question for you. Craig, do you want Umbral to be following you as of right now, or uh, do you want do you want him, do you want to be able to control them separately? Like in turn order? No, no, no. As in like the token inse- itself. itself. Ah. Uh, I imagine uh, Umbral follows. Okay, give me one second. Just need to do... link your tokens together. Yeah. Make them friends. Yep. Make them friends. friends. Did I? Oh no! No. Oh, I forgot no. to. I forgot to turn on the module. Damn it! Womp womp. I won't refresh. Wait, 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 wait. No, it's okay because because this one's this one's this one's not so bad. I haven't loaded so many modules in here it's okay to refresh the whole thing it is indeed <laughs> all right nope Ditch. don't worry I mean, that makes sense if we're refreshing guess <laughs> to initialize a module i can make people into mounts that's I right. You said mouth, right now. Mouth, right? <laughs> mouth, okay. mounts, mounts. So it is. It is still kinky, but the, but not 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 too kinky. All right. Yeah. Didn't know this was the type of campaign we were playing. It's always the type of campaign we're playing. I would have built a different character. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Uh, we're gonna be having dragons very shortly. Don't worry. Oh we'll we'll get to it. Having dragons. <laughs> My character is very flexible. Oh. Just letting you all know. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I also forgot to mention my character's five foot two. Small. I my character's five foot four, so. That's fair. Hold on, I, I just check. I know barbarians are usually big, so I just wanted to clarify. She's she's smaller. Small bear. Hey, Chris. I have a question. Mm-hmm. How are, are we using hero points? When do we get yes. hero points? Can I have yes, a hero I, point? Yeah, <laughs> uh, you, everybody should actually have two at this point. Yeah, I do. Um, to explain what hero points are, do you, you, we, hero points are basically legally distinct inspiration. Okay. Uh, at any point in time, when you roll a d20, you may use a hero point to re-roll it. Okay. You will be getting hero points when you do something fab- fabulously heroic or silly or stupid. Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm very I'm very uh, very very pro do something do something fun for a hero point type of thing. Okay. And uh, you will also be getting one once per hour. So uh, <laughs> you'll get one at like so it, for me we start at five thirty. Um, so you'd be getting one at 6.30 and then 7.30. Uh, you can, words, use them. <laughs> yes. you Please use them. As at the end of the session, you lose them all and you start back at one at the next one. All right. That's terrifying, by the way, that we get them passively. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't uh, think about are the implications. They, are they um, retroactive or proactive? They Regular. are retroactive in general. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I, um, I have all my word. The things I wanted to know. There will and be a time. There will be some times where you'll have to make secret rolls. Oh if you God, have a thresh, 
if you have a threshold for if you want to use a hero point on that secret roll, let me know. So like like if you roll under a ten, for instance, on the die, you'd like to re-roll it. You know, let me know and I'll I'll let you know if you want to re-roll it or not. You can uh, actually okay. right click on a roll that you make in the chat log and you can re-roll it with hero point there. Yep. Hmm. Yep, it'll be a little prompt for you to, to re-roll it with a hero point if you right-click whatever the d20 roll that it was. So if you roll an attack and then right-click the roll in the chat in the chat box, it'll it'll give you a bunch of menus to, to like re-roll using highest or something like that. One of them will be re-roll using uh, hero point. Hmm. So, uh, like, everybody go ahead and roll a d20 real quick. Uh, is it like the same where it's like? Yeah, it's R? exactly okay. the same. It is exactly the same. Oh fuck! Now, if you if you right click that that uh that roll you made into the chat, you'll see re-roll using a hero point. I see pop out message make, make private, private and delete. delete. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Goodbye. Oh, oh, you know what? I know why. I know why. I know why. Hold on. I know why. It's because you guys don't have any characters on that screen. How do I roll? Um, slash R space 1d20. Oh my god. It's dark. Yes, it is. Do we need to re-roll to do the thing? Uh, does it show up once it once you're in the... Nope, I no, still I don't see it. No. Yeah, I didn't see it on my reroll either. Really? Uh, yep. Let's see if it works for like actual actions. Well, oh, you know what? That might be a thing. Hold on. Uh, that would make sense that we can't just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The... Go, go, roll, roll an unarmed attack for me. It should be in your in the uh, roll. Uh, actions. Now I'm try to right click. Stabilize someone. Yeah, now I can reroll using. Okay. Hero yeah, point. yeah. 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 And if you need to take oh, away no. or give yourself hero points, uh, no, just click it, click it to click to give, right click to take away. All right. So oh, I see. Okay. And uh, then when it re-rolled it, it showed up on the same one. That's yes. Nice. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. I see. I see. All right. So uh, you wanted him following you. Let me get that done. Hold on. No, I need to. Oh, I know. The what lighting's I, uh... already really fucking cool. Yeah. One second. One second. I just need a couple of more things to fix. Uh. Uh. So something you may want to do in your um in your uh configure your settings in the you know the two little gears in the bot in the top right. Yeah. Um, there is a configure setting settings menu. Mm -hmm. When it comes up, uh, just scroll down a little bit, and there is a a an option left click to release objects. Um, okay. Left click to release. It's right after. There's a enable chat bubbles, pan to, to, pan to token speaker, scrolling status text, pixel ratio, resolution scaling, and then left click to release objects. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Do we want it clicked or unclicked? You want it. Uh, you want it clicked. Okay. And then there's a little save button, so don't close it unless you yep. hit the save. Shit. Yeah, there you go. Where is it? <laughs> okay, so in the top right hand corner. Yes. There's a there's the the two gears. Yes, I'm in oh. game settings. Oh, you're okay. So you see the the configure settings. You you click that okay. already. Yes. All right. Now you're gonna uh, fastest way to do this in the top left hand corner. There's a search menu. Type in left. Okay. Yeah. Left click to release objects. Okay. Yeah. You want to hit save changes after you click that. All right. Thank you. Uh, I just need to fix one more thing. There's a, there's just a couple of things I need to make sure. I forgot that there's a whole bunch of settings to like make things easier. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Uh, and then Pathfinder specifically. Theater of the Mind toggles. That's what we needed. And we do drag measurement. Okay, cool. All right, so um, Umbral needs to follow Hex. Let's get this thing. Rideable. There it is. Uh, start following. Execute macro. All right, I just need to check something real quick. Did he follow? No. He did not follow. Why didn't you follow? We'll worry about it later. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll I'll fix it later. All right, so uh, you guys have now entered the uh the basement it is dark it is cramped it is scary the stairs leading into the basement of the atari fishery creak with age as you make your way downstairs to find the pest that has been eating all of the fish in the center of the room between the stone pillars holding up the fishery overhead are barrels filled with salted fish two of these barrels have been smashed open their contents spilling onto the floor in the east wall there is a what you think is a is a hole uh just a few hours ago or rather a few minutes ago for you guys you gathered with a few other adventures with tamily and she offered you some compensation. She would explain that she would offer each of you 10 gold each. And uh, she was thrilled when you agreed to help her. But as you make your way downstairs, you can't help but wonder if there's a bit more of adventure than you bargained for. All right, so... Uh, you are each allowed to move about uh, uh, move about the cabin as you wish. Do I smell anything? Uh, you may roll a perception to do so if you would like. Ooh. Do you have Do you have an imprecise scent? You don't. Ooh. That's okay. You can still you can still roll a perception. So, and on your character sheet on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can see there is a uh, uh, there is a perception with a little dice. Yes, it's underneath your AC. Go ahead and hit that dice. Should pop up a menu. Okay. It did. And uh, just hit roll your plus six. All right. Cool. Uh, you do smell the eerie scent of uh, what you uh, are very well aware of, of rodents. But you're not sure where they are. Can't really tell from where you're standing. All right. I smell that's what... Oh, sorry. I smell what? rats. I say that just to everyone. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it follow? Is it following you, uh, Craig? I think so. Go ahead. Go ahead and move. Yeah, it is. All right, cool. It just took a bit. Mhm. Mm All right, so that's what Rona does. Uh, let's start with Landon since you were the first one downstairs. The light mm -hmm. torches glow. Sorry. Yep. Yes, they do. Uh. Well, I don't usually track rats, but I guess I can try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there is an action called a uh, track. It would be uh in the normally it would be on your character sheet. Uh there is a encounter exploration and downtime on the actions page. Actions Actions. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
do you see how each of these where it says actions you can browse? Mm -hmm. uh, if you click the browse menu, it opens up the compendium, and that's where you can find all the actions, right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. you can, it, that's where you can search for whatever action that you need to. It's an exploration activity. Um, so you would go to the to the exploration tab and drag in actions and blah blah blah. Uh, if you click track, there is a button next. There is a button in the description for track that says survival in it. Uh, it has a little chat box next to it and then a diamond. You're gonna want to click the left hand side, which is the survival. Uh, the 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 where the diamond is. If you click the right hand one, it actually just posts the, the 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 thing to the chat. You can actually press it right now. You can you can click that little that little uh yeah, there you go. That's that's how to roll the check. Now, if you press on the other side where that that check was, uh it is definitely it, it puts the little symbol at the bottom, yeah, you you see it there, and yep. it posts that prompt to the chat so that others might be want to roll it. If you're like a DM, it, that's what I would normally be doing, but you can you can do it for other people as well. <laughs> so other people can actually use that if they'd like. Do we do we do that now? No, you don't have to. Okay. You don't have to. This is just this is just for Landon. Now, Landon. Okay. Uh, you are 100% sure that whatever was down here, the rats are a thing. You do see the droppings of of rodents. But they're definitely not what broke into those, uh, into the, 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 the barrels. Uh. I think there's something slightly bigger than a rat down here. A fat rat? <laughs> you know, that's on me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking bigger than any rat that is a reasonable living rat. So, like, not a fat rat, like... Something bigger. <laughs> Avery, what yes. would you like to do down here? Um. I have no idea. Um. <laughs> no, it's okay. You can look around. You can. Yeah, I, I, uh, I guess I'll just look around. All right. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Again, that's on the left hand side of your. Uh, of your of your script of your uh, character sheet. Yeah. Perception as initiative. Nope. Where you want the you want the perce you want the perception button. The, there's a perception. Um. It's there's a, a button. It. Yeah. A AC oh, right below yes, AC. Yeah. You go. Okay. All right, Avery. You're noticing that the that the tools are very meticulously placed, but there's a couple of them that are off and off as in like thrown to the ground. Huh? Someone's definitely been down here and you're pretty sure with what, with how they, how the uh, place has been, you know, organized and everything that while Tamley calls herself scatterbrained, She's a little organized. Yeah, doesn't seem like she's going to be throwing things. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah, definitely looks like someone's been down here that isn't Miss Tamlan. And she said she was scared to go down here, so... Could, be, could have been some time, too. Assy, what would you like to do down here? Uh, I'm mostly keeping my eye out for any movement um, mm -hmm. i would make you roll but you don't see any movement other than your friends at, as yeah. of right as of right Just now watching out for danger right now mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> the chat bubble above the token made it so funny uh oh uh alicia is your yeah. token selected it is now okay so 
click and uh, click onto your token, hold on to it, and then hold control. Oh, oh. Oh. And mouse wheel. Hold control. So so you you don't have to, I'm sorry. I, I told you to click and hold. You don't have to hold. You just hold control and mouse wheel. It's not working. It was for a second. You don't you don't need to hold. You don't need to hold down the, the mouse at all. Just hold control yeah, hold and then control mouse control, wheel. Yeah. Oh hold. okay. Well you're talking. She probably stuff. doesn't have a mouse. I grabbed one of the mice. Okay. There we go. Did it squeak when you grabbed it? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it uh it's actually from a promotional item from the Rat Shaker game. I don't know if you guys saw that game. No. I'm aware <laughs> of it. Uh, it's a really it's a pretty popular indie horror game. Rat Shaker. I, I didn't know it was a horror game, but Yeah. Huh. Alright. And Asira. What would you like to do? Uh, would like to keep a low profile, maybe slink around, try to make as. I'm sure everybody's being very noisy. She tr she wants to keep just kind okay. of stealth and maybe yep. get towards this entryway and just kind of so, peer over. So what you can do is there is an a, an action called avoid notice. It's an exploration activity. Ooh. Um, so there's two ways to do this. I'm going to show you how to do it the quote unquote correct way. And then I'll show you how to do it with a basic action macro. Okay. Uh, the actions, you go to the actions page, right? Where you uh, have your weapon and everything. Yes. Uh, there is three tabs at the top. This says encounter exploration downtime. Mm-hmm. You're going to go to Exploration tab. Okay. Hit Browse. Browse. And then you're going to look for Avoid Notice. It should be third from the top. Oh, yeah. I just typed it. <laughs> yeah. And, and and then drag it on. All right. And then you're going to hit the diamond. And do you see where the diamond is in Stealth? Next to Stealth? Yep. You're going to hit that. Uh-huh. And then you're going to roll. All right, you are pretty doggone stealthy as you move around. Now to do it the other way, you remember that golden button that I've been talking about? Yeah, Same that's thing. how I was going to do it before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I, I just want you guys to be able to know how to get to the actions page and put all the actions onto your page. Because, you know, there's going to be some times where uh, the basic action macro won't do what the, the game is asking you to do. Like, roll society, but... Don't use your intelligence. Use your wisdom, or something like that, right? And it won't. Uh, it won't all the way accommodate for stuff like that. So, uh, you are pretty, pretty stealthy moving about. Uh, is that where you would like to be? Is, is that where you're standing around, looking down the if the, no, the hallway? If no one stops her, she would probably continue to go down the uh, the cave area. Uh, you don't get a chance to, oh. or rather you can, but, um, unfortunately there's something else coming up. Oh, a rat, <laughs> fat rat. a strange chittering comes coming. from the hole, from the hole in the wall. Suddenly a massive rat, the size of a dog emerges from the darkness and it oh, isn't rat. alone. If you the, point at it, that rat! <laughs> the giant rats rush towards you, their huge teeth snapping. And I'm going to move you aside to the second because I need to get to a token. There we go. That's, that's fair. Uh, all right. And. Do, 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 do. Boop. I like that on the little basic macro one, it tells me all the things I'm the best at. Yes, it does. Yeah, it's very nice. All right. Why and the best Matt? uh a lot a fair number of things <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot that a lot of people are good at in particular how does All it right. tell you you're the best at it is it if it's blue? It, if you scroll if you scroll over it mm -hmm. um oh 
Yeah, generally you are probably going to be the good best at like jumping, oh. climbing, swimming, you know that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh. All right, so we got some giant rats. I'm going to need people to roll initiative. Ooh. All right, so uh if you click your token, right? And in the in the there is a there is a if you right click it there is a little swords and shield button combat stat. Uh, for hex specifically. Oh. Um, in the left hand side, you see where it says init uh, initiative and then the dice and the perception on your character sheet. Um. Uh, yeah. Yes. Initiative. You yeah, yes. Do you see the little drop down that says perception next to it? Mm -hmm. Change it to stealth because you were avoiding notice ahead of time. Okay. All right, and I need to add them. Boop. All right, so uh, in the top right hand corner, uh, there is a, a double swords. Uh, that is the the turn tracker. You're gonna click that where it says roll initiative, and it's gonna prompt you to uh to to roll initiative. <laughs> wow, All I rolled a lot of elevens. Yeah, you sure did. <laughs> Eleven. Rich. Um. Okay. I'm just double checking. Did I? I did not do that right. Yes, you did. He did. Oh, I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's right. I have a bunch of stuff that happens when yep. I when I. Yep. So, uh, so first things first. Uh, I want you to describe how you become quick tempered. Um. How you enter your rage. Get mad. I think there's like. You hear from her like. It, kind of like this rumbling sound and then there's like a snarl like not a human snarl and uh when you look at her she's got more wolf-like features to her uh she's hairier she's got like um the claws on her have come out more and uh, you see, like, kind of her stance and things have changed. Um, now, when you, if you look at the, where it says effects on your, on mm -hmm. your, um, on your roll, I want you to drag both of those effects to your character sheet or onto your token. Either one is good. Okay. And make sure you're looking at your token when you do. Oh, that looks sick as fuck. Angry I woo. I am. I have the anger I woos. All right. You cannot see you, so I cannot see the anger I woos. I saw it. Don't worry. I'll show. I'll show. We'll show. We'll show it. We'll show it. You'll see it eventually. Don't worry about it. She gets to do it at the start of every encounter. I love barbarians in this game. You don't need to bonus action rage. You just do it at the start. Because why wouldn't you? Fair. True. You just want to get away with shit. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, the other thing I need you to do... Uh, hex. So, first of all... Because you rolled so well in your initiative, and because your friends were uh, are not very attentive to how well you were sneaking about, you are hidden and undetected. And it is your turn. The moment you become, do something hostile or you do not sneak, which is like... Uh, making sure you move at half movement to move around. So what's half of 25? Do we round up or round down? Round down, so 10. 10. So 10. So 15 for me. Got mm -hmm. it. 
Uh, would you consider Umbra like on my token or you can like... if you you can if you'd like. I I don't I don't mind it that it it's it's not exactly on your token. It's better if it's not because then I can like if there's yeah. something I need to move around or something like that. Because when I cast a spell and are they considered hidden as well? Umbral? Yeah. Uh technically no. I would say they'd have to use uh avoid notice as well. But for the for, for this particular action, I will allow it for now. Do they get their own like like round so like set a set of rounds or do is it part of my action? How does that work? Um like they go on your turn or not, right? They they go on your turn. Uh, because you have independent, they get one action for free, no matter what. Uh, and if you use an action to give it actions, it gets two. Okay. Uh, essentially, I want to... Okay, so I'm going to Shroud of Night this rat in front of me. And mm -hmm. since it's... The Starless Shadow, does it also get frightened? All right. So first of all, press T to target on the creature. Press T. Okay. Okay. For, and next thing, uh, just cast the spell. All righty then. I just want to see what see what it is that you're that you're talking about. Okay. Starless Shadow, when you cast it, you're just blah, 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 blah. Uh... Yes. And your familiar is adjacent to an enemy to which it's concealed, hidden, or undetected. The f enemy becomes frightened one. Yeah. Yeah, that would work. So it becomes frightened one. Okay. Does it have to roll anything for the Shroud of Night? Or Yes, it, do it does need to roll for the Shroud of Night, uh, which it will. It critically succeeded. Now oh, that sucks. Is it still frightened, or is it only... If the spell... uh, it is still frightened. Okay. Because then... it doesn't matter. Because it looks like it doesn't matter what you what you do whenever you cast or sustain a hex. Um. It it the enemy becomes frightened no matter what. Got it. Can we get three actions right? Yes. Yeah. So that was one action for you. Okay. I would like to try to stealth away to get behind here. Yep. Uh, so this action is called the sneak action. All right. Here is this encounter. Uh, yes, it's an encounter. Uh, unfortunately, it sees you, but because you're because you were undetected, uh, it you only moves you to hidden. Okay. So, yeah, you can go you can go wherever you need to at this point. All right. Anything else? I think that was two actions. Um, I can't like try to blind it again, can I? Why wouldn't you be able to? You can sustain. You can sustain the spell again. Okay. Yeah, I will try to blind this guy again. Then. Uh, where's my spells? No, I can just roll it again. Don't worry. Okay. Uh. Uh. <laughs> it went the opposite direction. So now all creatures are concealed to it. So. I guess it's technically dazzled. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Let me see if this action... Yes! So now it is... It, it can't see very well. Alright! Alright! 
Is that all? Uh, yeah, I guess that's my three turns. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, I, I I probably should hit that button. That'd probably help. Oh, so we can see it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. That'd probably help. Yeah. Uh, I was Rona. curious about that. All right. I heard music. Um, for, I think for stuff, I'm just gonna run. So just move, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, an action that you have is called Sudden Charge. Okay. I can only move five squares, basically, right? Because it's yes. 25? Yes. Okay. So, do, would you like to use Sudden Charge instead of just moving? Well, let me see. I gotta remember what Sudden Charge does. No, it's okay. Click it. And you can read it in the chat, if you'd like. Okay. Oh, it just... Oh, never mind. You're right. You're right. We talked about this move. Uh, yeah, I would like to sudden charge. Alright, so I'm gonna see if this does does what I think it does. Hold on one second. Mm -hmm. Uh, does it do it? It doesn't. Okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay. Alright, go ahead and move the squares that you need to. Okay, so I basically just get to move twice yes yeah. and if you end near an enemy um you get to strike at the end yeah so if i i can basically get like right in here yes yes you can and then if you press uh if you press t on a creature okay like i select and then t well just just hover over it and then press t oh yeah i did that Okay, and then go ahead and use, I believe, your jaws to attack, and you're good. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. Shit. Okay, and... With that, yeah, Jaws Strike. That hits! Roll damage! Fuck okay. yeah. Alright! So, describe to me this, this giant rat's fate. She runs in kind of on all four, like. Yeah, you could say all she, fours. I don't mind. Yeah, she, she kind of runs in on all fours kind of like very quickly. Like she almost bounce, like she uses the wall to like change her movement and propel, her, propel herself forward. She leaps in the air and comes down on it, biting into its neck and like shaking it like a rag doll. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Just comes whizzing over your head. <laughs> All right. Uh just a just a note, um allies are not uh di difficult terrain. Okay. Uh j just for your just for your note, but yeah, you did you destroy you just destroy this rat, kind of just slashing in or biting into its uh back and crunching down, and its not spine just snaps. Everybody hears this sickening crunch. You did bite it, right? You you, you did oh, yeah. use your mouth. Okay, all right, just making sure you did you were the one that bite it. All right, you still have yeah. one action left. What else would you like to do? Isn't that just one action? That was two actions to do. I thought it was if I ended within a certain distance, I just get to attack. You do. Um, so you move twice because you weren't able to get close enough on your first movement. And then the second movement, and then you were able to attack on the uh, attack with your with the when, because you ended near it. And that's two actions. But sudden charge lets me stride twice. 
it's Alicia, strength twice. Sudden charge is a two action ability. Oh, it is a two action. That makes okay. <laughs> now I get it. I'm I'm picking okay. up what you're putting down. Um, if I use my unarmed attack, um, like say I use my claws, would that avoid uh the map stuff? No, it would not. If you attack, if you use a an attack action, it always uh go makes you take multiple attack penalty. Okay. Could I try howling as like a intimidation? Yes, of course. That is that is definitely one thing you can do. Um what I need you to do is to uh target the next creature you'd like to howl at. Yeah. Oh. A woo. A scary a woo. Alright, so, um, so, uh, the net, you, you're gonna try to scare this animal. Yes. Uh, the action to do that is called demoralize. Uh, if you, uh, hit browse, it, so you can use the golden button if you want. And it, and the basic action macro, there is a, there is a mm -hmm. action called demoralize. Yeah, I tried using it just a second ago, and it didn't let me. In the uh, golden button thing. Let me see again. It says I have to select exactly one token. But I have them selected. Hmm. I don't have any one. Clo close, close everything out. And then refresh the target. Uh, like, you mean like close out it, what? That, like clo close your men the menus that you have open besides your character sheet. You don't need that. Um, mm -hmm. and then turn off the target and then turn it back on and then try to do it. Okay. Nope. Huh. Let me see if it does it on my sheet. Yeah, go ahead and, um, hit browse on the actions. And then find demoralize. It should not do it. That's weird. Why is it saying? Does, are you selecting more than one creature? No. That's weird. Whatever. You want to get demoralized onto your sheet, and then um. To, it, did you? Did, are you looking in the compendium browser right now? Uh. Yeah, I, it's not on my sheet, so I was just trying to see how I get it. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, do you see actions on below your attacks? It's It says actions? Yeah. Okay, you're going to see where it says browse? Oh, okay, yes. And then it's going to pull up that menu. You're going to grab demoralize, just type demoralize in, and then drag it over. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Yep. Sorry. Yep, no, it's okay. And then you're gonna hit where it says intimidation. And it should enter in that you may hold on. Uh okay, so you were you were supposed to take a minus four penalty because you don't speak rat. However, it does not matter. It still is frightened to shit. Nice. All right. It is Rat's turn. Now, Frightened in this game does something different. Instead of making you unable to, like, attack or move forward against another creature, it just makes your stats worse. And you can make something even more Frightened and get make the stats even, even worse. Mm-hmm. So it's still going to try to attack you. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. As it strikes out with its claw or its jaws. Yeah. Nom 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 nom. It starts ankle biting. For five points of damage. So now if you, you have your token selected, do you see where it says uh, damage? On the on the chat? At the very bottom, 
where that damage it, that that uh, five points is. I see the five points. Yes. Do you see where it says damage right below it? Damage half double block. Yes. Hit damage. Don't I? I don't take half from being raged. No, that's not how that works in this game. Oh, you're right. It's different. Okay. Mm-hmm. You eventually get some resistances, but starting out, all you do is get angry, hit harder, your attacks change, and uh, you get some temp HP. Okay. All right. Uh, it's going to try to attack again, because nom nom nom. It misses. Uh, and then it's gonna move in to let its friends come inside. Uh, next rat! Actually, we're gonna hide this guy. So I can see. Uh, it's gonna run up, and it's also going to try to attack you. Actually, yeah, no, it's gonna try to attack you. Really rude. No, 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 that no, is no, what no, the no. barbarian wants, right? Oh, uh, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. But that's okay. It you still it still misses. Uh, I think it's just gonna try to keep nomming because they're rats. Oh no! Nah. It does eight points of damage. Been critically as it, as it latches onto your ankles. That's really rude of it. And that is all for it. Uh, this rat actually saw Assy first. So it's going after... It. It bites down, Assy. Yeah. I'm impressed that's not a crit. Nom 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 nom. And, uh, it's gonna do it again. Ah, uh, it's a miss that time, though. So, yeah, these rats move in and start surrounding you. Assy! Alright. Okay. I'm gonna cast Haunting You. So, I'm gonna... Place my cone... I don't remember exactly how the rules work with placing cones. Uh, you place it at they start it from the center. Okay. All right. Well, looks like I can hit just those two. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. Let me uh roll some damage. Or go go ahead and roll some damage. I will roll the saves. Oh, that's a big one. Uh oh. I'm gonna blow up the rats Almost again. Almost makes damage. Uh oh. Uh oh. The old edge. So I've played this before, and I just blew up all the rats. <laughs> nope, no. <nope. laughs> With I think this cantrip. That's funny. Uh... Yeah. And then we all died, but. Yeah. <laughs> Important, that's, for later, that's, for later, that's 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 for later. Alright, uh... As he's, as he's ca uh, casting, she, like, brandishes her staff and just starts, like, chanting, like, in a drone. And then there's this, uh like, wave of sound that just ripples out from her into the rats, and her ears start bleeding. Oh, that's creepy as shit. Yeah, she's cursed as hell. Huh. That's not so good. No. That's not so good. That's not good. <laughs> Alright, Avery! Affected, so, it's fine. 
Um, you hear your friends attacking things. Yeah, I saw the fucking weird girl go feral mm. and bounce off the wall and disappear. Yep. <laughs> See, I'll see bounce off any wall. <laughs> nope. Yeah, that that one. Mm hmm. Um. Is it an action to draw the rapier? Yes. It is an interaction uh, interact action. Okay. Do that. And rats. I see a them lot now. of them. Uh, get there. Mm -hmm. And it's two actions to attack. Just one. Just one. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yeah, I, I will attack for now and figure out shit later. Yeah, go for it. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to uh, highlight over a target. Right, so I have to target first. Mm -hmm. And then um, press T. I guess that one. Yep. The one right in front of me. And... That's a critical hit! Roll yeah. that critical. Do I hit the critical? Yes. Okay. First roll, Jamie, and you get a crit. Apparently. That... I think that rat's probably dead. That's a lot of damage. Explosion. Is it supposed to be that much damage? Uh, 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 hold on, let me see. That seemed like a lot. Let me rat. make sure. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's a crit. Yeah, no, I. It's, it, that's not the problem. Yeah. I would, I, I'm trying to figure out where you're getting the precise Ooh. strike from, but oh, oh, wait, 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 wait! I know where it's from. It's, it's this. It's this. You just get, you just get an additional I just get two it. damage. Okay. Yeah, you just get an ad additional two damage. All right, you're good. Yeah, yeah, that's that's how it works. Cool. Uh, I would like to show you what happens when you do enough damage. It dies. It doesn't. It doesn't just die. Okay. <laughs> If it were to hit, if something were to hit like one of you guys at that, at that health, it, you would just explode and into pieces. Cool. <laughs> oh, what I'm doing? All right, so Avery, describe its face. Uh, its fate. It's not its face. It's not face. its face. Um, yeah, it doesn't have face. a face anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I. They run up and they like pause to take in the situation before like. I would say their movement and, like, the actual attack kind of blend into each other. Mm -hmm. And before people can, like, process that, like, attack happened, the sword is through one side of the rat and coming out of the other. And then they retract <laughs> their blade. Does the- you do the- do the one-handed- one-handed piercing into the rat? Draw the blade back and do like the, the 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 quick whip to throw off the blood. Yeah. As uh -huh. the rat, as as the rat, as the rat just kind of sits there for a moment, then falls and over. Blows up. <laughs> and then it explodes in the distance. <laughs> yeah. It explodes as well. <laughs> cool. And, I don't uh, have any more I... actions, right? Yep. Okay. So that's it, Landon. Uh, well, I gotta draw something, mm -hmm. and I've realized I can't uh, longbow down here even if I move. I mean, I can, but it's not good. So why is it not good? Because it's within thirty feet. Oh, volley! Volley! Yeah. So I guess I'm gonna draw a little dagger. All right. And stab it. Uh. Yeah, just stab it, I think. You don't want to hunt prey first? The, does hunting prey do anything damage-wise? Um, no. <laughs> Not really. Oh, you took hunted shot, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, so yeah, like, when I'm daggering, yeah, I, get... I think it's just kind of a waste of action. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's so fair. I will try to stab. 
Yeah, go for it. Oh, forgot the target. But that's okay. I'm sorry. That is okay. Um, that is, it's close, but it's not a critical hit. Uh, just roll damage. Damage. Eh. And, uh, you can swing again if you'd like. Yeah, I guess I'll try to stab it again. I think I'm targeting this this time, but I missed it. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, fair enough. And that'll be it. Landon pulls out his it pulls out his punching dagger and starts punching. <laughs> All right. Uh, hex. My turn. Yeah. And she pokes her head out. See that if she moves up, she she's not going to be any danger. So she's going to move up. All right. Uh, you would lose your hitting condition if you do not sneak. Uh, yeah, I'll sneak. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Just roll. Just go ahead and roll the sneak. Uh, let me check real quick. Uh, I mean, I'm going to attack, so it might not matter. Uh, it would if it's an AC attack. If it's okay. not, then um, ah, uh, unfortunately, you you trip over Umbral as you walk around the corner. We're still <laughs> still trying to figure things out. Yeah, <laughs> this is our first like hunt together or something. I don't know. Umbral's trying to collect the fish that's on that's been scattered on the ground from all the from the destroyed debris, you know? It's fair, it's fair. It's a hungry growing boy. Uh but I will see I will attack uh, this one mm -hmm. with phase bolt. Go for it. Roll that attack. That's a critical hit. Woo! Roll dam just hit roll damage. Where's the damage? How to roll damage? Uh, on the on the ch on the, the the in the chat, you see where it says roll damage. Oh yeah yeah, I do. No, yeah, roll damage. And it takes double. As it dies. So tell me how you cast the spell. Um, she like kind of saunters up behind Rona. I'm sure she doesn't even notice because she's in her feral mode right now. I got a chew toy. <laughs> she's We're going still to unpack that. that thing. <laughs> we we are going to unpack that later. Um, but she like kind of like looks at the one that's closest, that probably looks the most damaged, and she will point her finger as shadows begin to kind of like darken around her somehow and purple like light begins to like form around her finger as it shoots out and it crackles and phases in and out of reality and just strikes the rat in multiple like places mm -hmm. like it like and phases inside the rat and just like kind of like implodes so the rat, so in from inside the, so as you cast this bolt, like the, the the bolt goes inside the rat, and nothing happens for a brief moment, and then there's just this dark purple energy that courses from inside as the rat's eyes begin to light up, and it sinks in and just falls over in front of you, Landon, as you've been punching it. Love that. Anything else for you? Oh, or I think that's your three that's, actions. That's three, yeah. Rona! There's, th there's a rat. There's a rat that's that's chewing on your uh, that's chewing on your leg, as well as there's a rat in your mouth that's that you're chewing on. So I mean it's just the chew circle. 
Yeah. I'm gonna go after the rat that's attacking me. Yep. Can oh. I try the uh, the frightened thing first? Yes, yes, you this can. This is a different one. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you're gonna need to give yourself a minus four. So when you hit that roll button, right? Uh, when it when that menu comes up, you're gonna yeah. put in minus four. Oh, it's got a thing for un unintelligible. Okay, yeah, there you go. That, that, click that. Click that. Wow. All right. Well, it is frightened of you. It backs up into the wall. I'm going to then attack it. You may do so. Ah, oh, that's a miss. Oh, you miss. can use your hero point right now if you'd like. Sure. Yeah. So right click it. the right click the roll and then hit hero point. Reroll using hero point. Okay. Dad, yeah, it turns it into a hit. Roll damage. As you take down the last rat. Having now two chew toys. Oh, that and was the last one? Oh, nice. Yes. As cool. all the rats have been defeated. Woo! And the encounter is over. Cool. Good job, everybody. Yippee, we're only mildly hurt. Yeah, but we got dinner. I'm everyone, fine. everyone, you gain 80 XP in the top right hand corner. It's going to be the, that's where you're going to put the 80 XP. I'm only going to do it for the uh, for the for the beginner box. After that, I'm done with the XP stuff. Just want to show off how it works and everything. It moved the bar. It does. Ooh. Yippee. All right. I feel slightly more knowledgeable. Uh, like a 12th to level 2. You feel just a bit more experienced. Right. You, um, you know what, Rona? I take it back. Those are kind of some fat rats. <laughs> uh, yeah, those are the biggest rats I've seen in my life. And I've seen a lot of rats. How many rats? I, uh... My oh. first thought was why, <laughs> <laughs> but I—I I mean, they're, uh, they're pretty common pests. They're in every village. Wait, did you happen to be in a closet when you saw them? No, I wasn't in a closet when I saw them. Oh, that's a you thing. Oh, okay. They don't taste that bad. I'm like gnawing on one I still. Will take your word can, for it. can we at least cook them first before you eat? Uh, never mind. Oh sure, I spit it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are 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 you okay? Black like physically, I'm, I'm a little hurt. She's always like this. It's fine. I think. All right. Or it's not, but I don't really know what fine is then. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, would you like to continue on, or would you like to go talk to Tamily about what you have found? I suppose we should probably clear out any other rats that might be deeper in there. Yeah, let's check out the hole. You know. Yeah, I mean. If Fair enough. Take ten minutes. I'd like to patch up Rona. If you don't object to waiting just a little bit longer. Yeah. I go check out ahead just to see what we're dealing with. I mean, what if you get attacked though? I'll be fine. I made They're it this really, far in life. They're really fat. I mean, wouldn't it suck just a little bit to die to a rat? 
I mean, I don't plan on dying to a rat, are you? I mean, no well, one just... plans on dying. Much less of a rat. <laughs> yeah, if you want to go have fun, I guess. <laughs> All right, for 10 minutes. Um, I believe that is a scout action for our. Uh, uh, yes, it is. If you die to a rat, can I eat the cat? <laughs> no. Oh. Um. Uh, Rona. Yeah. Or rather, a Assy, you're gonna. You, do you know how you do? You know how to do the whole yep. healy thing and everything. All right, cool. Don't need to explain that to you. Um. So, Sarah, you're gonna go down into the hole. Yes. All right. Uh, you are you you're gonna go stealthily? You gonna go scouting? You can only do one or the other. Wouldn't a stealthy scout be the same thing? No, it is not. Uh, you can only do one exploration That's activity a at a time. It looks like Alicia has to press it. Yeah, Alicia has to press that button. Hey. Okay. Thank you. Let us go under actions. Exploration, you said? Yes. I don't think it was under um, in the there is, macro. There is. Uh, I, it, so scouting and scouting doesn't actually give you a uh, a role. If you go and read what it does. It's it's quite convenient. Oh yeah, that's nice. Uh, that doesn't per uh stop you from going out and you know just exploring, mind you. It's just it dis it determines which one you're doing. Uh, I guess I will scout ahead. Mm -hmm. All right. So as you scout into the cave, let me bring you in there a little bit. Uh, squeezing through the hole, you find yourself in a cavern that seems to stretch endlessly beneath the streets of Atari. Who knows what menace could be lurking down here? Up ahead, the passageway ends in a cliff that plunges sharply into the darkness. Feels like home. So as you get closer and closer, you definitely see this uh, this do uh, uh, drop into the darkness. And I'm pretty sure with your... You have dark vision, right? I do. Yeah, you can see what's ahead. Uh, and I'll give a quick description of that. The tunnel continues deeper underground, eventually opening up into a large chamber. Patches of the glowing blue fungus cling to the ceiling and provide dim light. You can just barely make out strands of web of webbing across the floors and on the walls of this cavern, stretching between the stalactites like shimmering curtains. And that's what you see. Cool. I guess I will come back to the group. All right. All right. And uh, yeah, Rona. Mm hmm. A seed seems to be patching you up quite nicely. Bandages and all. Applies a little medicine here, a little uh, dab of ointment there, and you feel right as rain. Rats well, carry you. diseases. They can infect your wounds. So be careful. Are there other actions that take roughly the same amount of time that Avery or I could be partaking in during this? Um, 
Let's see. I was going to ask if I could look over the rats to see why they're so big, if I can tell. Yeah, sure. Uh, Go ahead and roll a... Hold on, I'll tell you. Why rat fat? Why rat, why rat fat? Why, why so big? big? They're all pregnant. Oh they're full God. of little baby rats. Be uh, awful. Uh, okay. uh, it Terrible, is gonna be, horrible. It is going to be a nature check. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, what the action is called is called recall knowledge. Uh, if you if you target a creature and hit and hit in the bonus action macro, recall knowledge. You will not see a roll, but it will it will send one to me. Recall knowledge checks are secret, so you need to show to do them blindly in general. How do I? Wait, yes, huh? So target target a rat. Target. Yeah. And then open up the basic action macros. Okay. And there is a button that is recall knowledge. You just need to hit it once. Um, recall knowledge. Okay. Did All right. Me? I think you don't get to because you're being healed. That's fair. But I could be wrong. Uh, you could as well, but I'll tell you right now, there's not there's not a whole lot you guys are gonna learn in particular. Okay. Um, but that said, uh, yeah. recall knowledging in combat is a thing. If you want to learn some stats about the about the creature or a specific action that it can do or some weaknesses, hmm. you can ask any question with the recall knowledge. But realize that if you fail bad enough, you could be given false information. That again, that has happened to me. I it's it's it is it was the most awful. suffer it was the most suffering thing ever. <laughs> Alright, so giant rats, uh what would you like to know in particular? Why they're so big? Mm-hmm. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. why so big? Why so why big? So... Why so big? Uh, generally, giant rats happen when the pest problem is not handled, and so they're generally found in like caverns and uh underground burrows and sewers. Uh, they are they gen you generally won't find them in the sewers they're like they're very they're very very uh i want to say timid but it that's not the right word because they can become aggressive when cornered and when they're hungry and stuff like that mm -hmm. it's more like they they're they're very they're very quick to to scatter whenever they're whenever there's like large groups of people uh hmm. but it's and so you'll find so you won't you won't necessarily find them in like in villages you'll find them in dank forests hills that kind of thing i think like, she's been putting off this uh extermination for quite a while Uh, anybody else can roll nature if you'd like. I can give different information if you if you want. I do have more. Sure. Right, I, will... I will uh, re-roll it if it's less than a 10. Uh, yeah, go ahead and hit the button again. You wouldn't be able to... Yeah, okay. Uh... Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. Uh. So interesting thing about the uh about the rats that Assy was able to pick up quite quickly. Uh, they are carriers of diseases. Uh, but they generally don't are not affected by said diseases. And that makes them particularly dangerous in in uh, in villages when one happens to stumble into one. They they can harbor 
much more dangerous diseases than even your common vermin sized ones. Uh, with your role in particular, you can tell this probably wouldn't have happened save for the hole that's there. And you're pretty sure that this hole is not... It wasn't made by the rats. It kind of seems like they've maybe been let in here by someone or something. Maybe not intentionally, but I don't think they broke through this wall. Uh... That said, it, they, they, are, they are rather big and... And the fact that there's a group of them is, like, you know, weird as shit. Can I do anything to tell if these particular ones are diseased? Sure. Uh, it would be a medicine check. Also, you can just look at Rona for long enough. No, oh, she always looks like that. No, no, no. I'm talking about the fact that she put it in her mouth. Uh, <laughs> don't you put it in your mouth don't you put it in your mouth don't you... yeah it would just be a flat medicine check you don't need to it, this, not, this wouldn't be a recall knowledge or anything you're pretty sure that these don't have any uh, dangerous diseases or anything like that but there's only there's only one real well real good way to tell because they are, they are, uh, they don't, they're not affected by diseases in general. They just mm. kind of just have them. Well, if she dies, she dies. I don't say that out loud, but you know. <laughs> That's an insight thought. <laughs> we, we keep those thoughts deep down in our brain. <laughs> She's probably bitten grosser things, honestly. Um, which is another inside thought. Uh, let's wait for our friend to come back. <laughs> Sarah, you come uh, wandering back. You haven't seen her recently. Oh, okay. Took me a second of what you were talking about. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Uh There is some pretty cool neon blue mushrooms down down the cave entrance. But there's also spider webs. And not just small ones. Giant ones. Why is everything big around here? You think we could bounce in them? The leaf webs are sticky. She th She thinks for a second. There's only one way to find out. Verna looks like she is 100% going to jump straight in the web. Oh, Alicia? Yeah? Um, on your character sheet, or when you have your token selected, do you see the rage things in the top right-hand corner? Yeah. Right-click those for me, in the, if, you, if you don't mind. Not not your token. Not your token. Uh, on your, on your Just on your screen. Like and here. next to you. Yeah. Oh, the big ones. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. There you go. Okay, they're gone. Yeah. It's because I, I I want you to be able to do it again whenever. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you guys get back into combat. Uh, all right. So you guys are allowed to do as you'd like. There is a problem as you move into the cave. If you do go, uh, there is a cliff. You'll need to get down it. Can we jump? You can indeed just jump. Oh. Is it a safe distance to jump? Uh, so I will tell you one. I I will tell you how I would tell everybody. Uh, it is a safe difference for everyone to jump. If you'd like your legs being broken, <laughs> Avery, well, I will probably I Avery, not know. <laughs> Avery, instantly. You can make that jump. Yeah, yeah. No, he jumps down. They jump down. And kind of like tucks and rolls. 
Oh, I can't. Oh, uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, I'll move. I'll Thank move you. it for you. Yeah, yeah. Can I climb down? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, it is gonna. It is gonna. You're gonna need a a an athletics check for me. Uh, if you, you look in the more? chat, if you look in the chat, there is a, a there is a roll that you can click. Uh, there there. Is, yeah. That do you see? Do you see the? Do you see the? You see the button in the chat? Oh, I see what you're talking about now. I was thinking of because I actually have like the climb thing. Yeah, yeah. There, there is a there there is a climb action. It. Ooh, so you're a point. <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> there are other ways down the cliff, however. If you'd like to use some something to aid you, aid you on the way on the climb down. Four letter word has an O yeah. in it. Uh, all right, Rona just climbs down. Cl Rona climbs down, no problem. <laughs> she, she she like slips for half a second, and then she she's like wee, and then catches herself on a rock. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I've got a rope. <laughs> Let's use a rope. I would like to use the 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 rope that I have in my bag. Yep. Uh, if you use the rope, you use this check instead. I'll let Landon go first. All right, Landon, you get down. Yahoo! You, you next. Plus I zero. Don't, that's I don't see what the, the difference between those two rolls are. No, that's still a two. Uh. I can't believe I fell in that shit. You you did not fall. You just stay there. Oh, okay. You you don't you don't get you don't get up or down if you fail. You only you only fall if you critically fail. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, cool. You know, if I rolled below that. So yeah, you're just hanging there in, on the wall, assy. You just <laughs> just, <laughs> just just chilling out there. Okay, Any time okay. now. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. She's just she she like tries to get down and just slips a little bit, and then she's like, oh, 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 oh. okay, still getting used to these boots. All right, and as he gets down, yay. Ugh. Now All right. I'm I'm gonna use the rope, but yeah, if we didn't have a rope, was would there be any way to get down using acrobats and Steven? Of athletics. No, acrobatics is more of a um, balancing type of thing. Athletics is definitely the strength required stuff, like climbing and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, then I will use the climb feature. Where's the rope feature for climbing? Here. No, no. Here. In Just, the chat. Oh, in, the, that. in the chat. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to have Assy selected, but whatever. All right, so you're just hanging there, just like Assy. <laughs> it's just you're not slipping or anything, but you're just hanging there. Cool. Guess I'll Pull try it again. To yourself. It helps. All right, All right and oh. you get down. Look at that. Thank you. Hey, it helped. Sure did. All right. I assume you move on. Yes. Uh, can everybody see in this darkness? Um, well I can't see past like there. Yeah. Same. Okay. Yeah. And some people don't have any special senses at all. Uh, you guys might need a torch or two. Uh, who wants to hold a torch? I can hold a torch. I can't. Uh, uh, you don't need a torch, though. I don't, but like, I'm also yeah. not going to hold it because I want right. to potentially use my bow. Well, you technically, <laughs> can. <laughs> I don't think I want you to. You're going to leave me here in I the think, dark. I hold two tor. I hold a torch in each hand and just bite everything. Actually. <laughs> 
All right. So, uh, do, you know to to do you know how to turn on torches? Do you know how to turn on torches? Held one H. Yep. And then on the actions page, uh, there's a button that says torches lit. Torches lit. A okay, now you can see. It's lit! Oh my gosh. Isn't that cool? Yeah, Isn't that great? It's really cool. Ooh. Into the darkness. All right. And you guys are headed in. Bless you. It's like hiccups. Yeah. Thank you. I would like to draw my dagger beforehand. Is that a thing that I can do? Yeah, of course. You can have your weapons out the whole time. Oh, I'm confused. Yeah. That's why you got <laughs> I, I never put it away, I don't think. Upon reflection, I want to be further back and have my <laughs> like, longbow really drawn. <laughs> I, I, I probably first. have either the most or second most health. True. The fun thing first. is, I mean, just I can... hold your longbow while holding a dagger. Yeah, you can't hold, you can't, you can hold both. Um, okay. but, but you'd have to, you'd have to drop one. Hold on, hold on, before you guys go into this room. Into the spiders! Uh, 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 my question is, how are you guys moving about this room? Are you guys just gonna walk through the webs? Or are you guys gonna just, you know, make it a attempt? Light them on fire! It'll be funny! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's an option. When that we is walk an option. In, I go and I, like, the, uh, the web... Like a string. Ah, oh, I see. All right. Not... Well, then. Uh, I would like well, to then... stealth before whatever's about to happen. <laughs> All right. I ring the bell for the spider. <laughs> Hello, spiders. We are here. It's it better think. than the spider hopping on us, like sneaking up on us. Arguable. No. All right. So, um,. I do want to say, whenever for Rona I say she is about to do something, it's never fast, and people are welcome to stop her. Well, that's interesting, but it's funny. <laughs> no, that's fair. I'm just, if anyone's like, oh god, please, for the love of god, don't do that. You, All right. so, you always okay. can't say stop to her. So, uh, first things first, uh, you touch the web. Mm -hmm. So let me uh, let me uh, let me uh, give you a thing real quick. Okay. All right, there we go. You are now not able to move because you directly touched the web. The web is sticky, guys. <laughs> the, uh, the web? It's it, it's actually sticky. Are you stuck? We, we, can I try to pull tell her? You that? <laughs> uh, you can try to pull her. However, uh, you did say you were trying to hide. I'll go pull so her. Which 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 one which one would you prefer to do, Hex? Probably hide. I'll go All pull right. Her. So go ahead and roll avoid notice. Uh, expiration, right? Where is it? Um, nice. All right. And then two. Uh, the second thing. Uh, I'm going to need everyone to roll initiative. Could I also have avoided, try to avoid notice? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay. And if you are avoiding notice, you can use stealth to avoid notice. Can I avoid notice? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. How do I know if I... Successfully succeed? avoided notice? Yeah. Uh, I'll let you know. You can still roll stealth for your uh, initiative. Um, okay, but you are not undetected. You know that that's fine. That's honestly the main part I wanted. Uh, oh, we can heroes uh, initiative. 
Yes, you can hero point anything you roll a d20 on. I would, would like, you like to hear use an Istis hack. Um, <laughs> you mean an Iris hack? Better. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know what I said. All right. Uh, now this thing needs to roll its initiative. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. da, 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 da. All right. Um. Let me see. I have to. I have to roll one other thing. I apologize. Okay. Give me one second. No, you only get to roll one dice. All right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Hex? Something's yep. coming. Something bad is coming. But you don't see it. Now, the thing you can do, and you are undetected, you are undetected for it, so I'll, I'll let you put it on yourself. Um, uh, Right-click your token, and then assign status effects. Yes. You're going to be hidden and undetected. Um, hidden. And where's undetected? Undetected. Okay. Oh, token gone. So undetected. So I undetected. I just vanished in front of your eyes. Literally. Wait, did I just literally just Yeah, vanish? no, your, your yeah. token's oh gone. Yes, <laughs> yes it, they, it, you're literally gone to them. The shadows just warp around her. Uh, oh, wow. Go ahead and roll for Umbral as well. Okay. Um, I imagine you fall back you in can, the shadows can, uh, like the uh, Homo Simpson go, there, meme. Uh, wait, hold on. There you go. There you go. Now you can... Okay. Um, excluding minion Umbral from initiative? No, I don't want that. Wait. How do I roll initiative for? You don't. You don't. No. 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 You're not. You're not rolling. Um. You're not rolling initiative. You're just. Ro you want to roll st just the stealth. Okay. Um, because because we're check we're checking to see if Umbral is also. Got it. Uh, he is indeed undetected, but not hidden. No, he is hidden too. Sorry, I apologize. Okay. So, so there's three levels of uh of observation. You're observed, you're hidden, and then you're undetected. Undetected. If you're if you're undetected, you're also hidden. Got it. So if I would have hit undetected, it would have also given me the hidden buff as well. No, no, no. It, undetected is like is like a higher state of hidden. So you okay. need the it, hidden is like the normal, like your normal. So if you actually turn off, uh, here I'll I'll show you actually what it looks like whenever somebody else is. I'm just gonna use Avery for a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Avery. Yep. Go ahead and give yourself the hidden status. Um, all right. Hidden, where is that? There it it's a, uh, it's, it's, there you go, there you go. So you see the swirly? Oh, uh, okay. You know where they are, but you can't see them. That's uh, hidden. Undetected is I just vanish. You, Got they, it. They, you undetected Sweet. is you you they are they are hidden and you don't know where they are cool there is actually one more above that which is unobserved which means uh that you don't even know that you're being stalked essentially that's my goal All right, so I believe um, in you. One day you will become the best stalker. So, uh, <laughs> since you are since you are hidden and undetected, and you know something's coming, 
you can like you 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 can sense it. You just know she touched the spider web. Of course something's coming. You can do a couple of things. You can um, sneak around. You can try to seek the creature. That's an action that you can do. Or you can do any other other any other thing like buffs or anything like that. Just realize if you cast a spell, it will uh, it will take off your you know you will become observed at that point. Yeah, uh, I would t seek the creature. Okay, that's an action. Uh, it's an action whether or not you use the encounter action on your character page or the basic action macro. Okay. Um, is there anything else I have to do with it? Is it wisdom, right? Yep, it's just a seek wisdom roll. It's like a perception roll, essentially. Okay, and it's blind to GM roll, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure it makes it blind to GM. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't see it, but you can keep using your actions to 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 find it. Or if you want to re-roll that one with your hero point, you can if you'd like. Yeah, I'll do that. The eyes appearing is scary. Yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, you can't. F it, it, it's it's really hard to find it. Now you can still use your other actions to to keep looking for it. Okay, I'll, I'll use another action to seek seek it again. Okay, go for it. Good time. All right, guys. that time you know where it is. Hold on one second. You can't see it, but you know where it is. Uh, ch -ch 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 one second. All right. So now that you know where it is, there is one other action you have to do to let other people know because it it is still undetected to everybody else. Okay. Uh, the action is called point out. Okay, is that under it's, it's it's just a, it's just an action. It's just an uh, it's not a basic action macro. It's uh, it's a character. You're gonna have to go through the character page to get it. I just want to show off the 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 point out action. Okay, uh, counter action point out. Whoops, let's go here. Boom. All right. All right, and now everybody else can see that it knows that that creature is right there. How oh does fuck! The it's right there. How does the invisible person point at the other <laughs> invisible creature? That is a good question. <laughs> I'd probably whisper like, "Avery, it's to your right." Avery, it's, it's behind you because they're turned to try to pull out Rona from the oh, web. Oh yeah, I guess it is behind you. Terrifying. <laughs> it's behind you. Terrifying. <laughs> what? Avery, Don't turn around. Uh -huh. What? <laughs> Avery, it's right behind you. It is right behind me. As it descends on a web, mm. and it drops down on you and makes a and strikes at you. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, it was hidden from you. True. Hold on. Cause and it, since it was hidden from you, you are technically off guard to it. Oh. Which means you have a minus two to your AC. It will calculate it automatically though. Okay. Even if I point it out, it still gets the it, it's, hidden. Yes, because it was undetected before. Is it a lot worse if it attacks while it's undetected? No, it's just nobody can see it. Oh, okay. So kind of. You just yeah, you I... just gave me a warning so I could be scared for the attack. <laughs> uh, you know. There's gonna be a jump scare. That's There's jump gonna scare be right a now. jump scare. Literally. <laughs> oh, that. Yep. Mm -hmm. My stream's um... gonna love this. <laughs> All right, uh, so you take this. Yeah, hit the damage. Yes, and I am going to need you to roll a fortitude save. Oh, I'm good at those. Uh-huh. Yeah, you are. 
Heck yeah. Nothing happens. Awesome. It was not expect. It was not expecting this. Uh. Pocket web. <laughs> what? Yeah. You are now immobilized. Cool. Uh, let me Web buddies. <laughs> Web buddies. Web buddies. Immobilized. Where is that? There it is. Uh, and then it runs away. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bite. Oh shit. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Fucking mood, though. It, cool. it, 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 it was it, the things were supposed to happen. It didn't happen. It doesn't know what to do. It runs away. Um. So Avery, yeah. To escape, to escape, there is an action that you would need to do. Uh, you can. So uh, it, this one's actually really good for it. Uh. To escape, you're going to use the basic action macro. There is an escape button. Okay. Uh, that escape button is generally going to give you your best version of escape. Okay. You can use, uh, generally to escape, you can use one of three things. You can use an athletics, acrobatics, or your unarmed attack modifier. But that little handy thing fi figures out which one's your best. Okay. I will so do go that. Ahead, go ahead and use the macro to uh, escape. You successfully escape. You are no longer immobilized. Yay. I'm just like, hey, this is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 you know that sticky, the, the, you know, when something's sticky on your hand and you're just like Ooh. shaking your hand to try to get get it off, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Fucking tape. All right. Fucking root beer bottle. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm awesome. gonna I'm gonna go chase the monster. All right. And I'm gonna hit it. Uh, yep. Go ahead. Hit the target. All right, thank you. Ah. It's it's okay. Um if you forget to tee the target and you roll ahead of time, it won't target. Oh, okay. Like if you hit the button early, you know, okay. but it's okay. Just roll damage. You 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 hit it fine. Just okay. roll damage. All right, and it does like that. I don't know if you've heard a spider hiss before, but mm. it's awful. Mm. Hate that. And that is its turn. Landon! So, um, I would like to shoot my bow because it ran away. Mm -hmm. However, I am standing behind my ally right now. Mm -hmm. uh, is that a problem? Uh, it is, it is a problem and only that, uh, it, it, prov it's given, uh, light cover. Because it's okay. two people in your way. With direct line of sight. So Avery right. and um, Assy. Okay, so moving in front of Assy wouldn't necessarily fix that problem. No, it would. It would. Okay. If you were fi if you were firing, but if you were firing uh, only uh, if you were like here, and you were to fire, you would be fine. Okay, I will take an action to move in front if I can. Mm -hmm. Get back to not um, doing the, <laughs> the, the. What about this one? How does that one feel? I move. Ta-da! You feel you feel something rub up against your leg. You also hear gonna... her, so relax. <laughs> uh, it 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 feels less like a spider and more like maybe a cat, so that's mm -hmm. probably fine. Uh, I would like to hunt the spider. Yeah? Yeah, you can yeah. do that. Hunt or a horrifically big spider. 
Yep. Don't think I have to actually do anything with that. No, you don't. Which it's is... just it's just done now. It's just done now. Which means it is time to shoot it. But make sure at the top of your encounter page, there is a thing that says target is your hunted prey. Make sure you have mm -hmm. that selected. Yep. Uh, and I would like to specifically do a hunted shot. Yep, go for it. So I shoot twice. Ooh, fancy. Snashy. Wait. Okay, so volley still applies if I'm at thirty feet. Uh, maybe. Hold on, let me see. I suppose, yeah. Hold on, let me see something. Yeah. It's volley 30 feet. So it's got to be, you got to be, you, you're, 30, you're, yeah. you, you got to be not in 30. So like right here. Okay. We got to get you like, a short buddy, but a short bow buddy. Yeah. I, um, okay. With that in mind, can I stay where I'm at instead? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. I won't okay. even, I, I'll, 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 don't worry about the cover stuff. It's fine. Okay. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's hunted. So here's the first strike for the one thing. Yep. That hits. Ooh, it shoots an arrow. Yes, it does. That's cool. Pew. All right. That's a bit yeah. of damage. And then we'll do the second one from the same one. Ah, just barely. You can hear a point, though. Sure, why not? Ah. For the worst. Mm. Good try, though. And uh, since I didn't move, I guess I technically still have another action with which I will... Yeah, you can shoot again. Shoot it again? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Ah, you tried. All right, well, Ron Rona. Woo! I would like to try to escape. Yep. Again, in the Ethan's basic action point. macro, there is an eight escape button. Nice. Let's see. Uh. Escape. Got it. Let me leave. Uh, unfortunately, you're still trapped. Oh no. Uh, and Avery, mm -hmm. I forgot to I forgot to mention this for last time, but and don't worry about it because you still hit. Yeah. But escaping is an attack action, so it actually does the multi-attack penalty. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I would like to attempt again. Yep, that this time make sure it's at the the minus five that's next to it. That Ooh. does it. You break free. You can right click that immobilize that's in the top right. And uh... all right, you you got one action left. Is the spider up in the air? No, it's on the ground. It scurried okay. away. Am I able to run to it without getting in the web again? Uh, let me make sure. I don't think there's a problem. No, once you get stuck, that's it. You're good. Okay. Man, if that was the case, Avery would have gotten stuck again. Uh, the totally. the only thing is that moving through the web is a uh, difficult terrain. Yeah. So you can run up on it if you'd like. I would love to. All right, and that's probably mm -hmm. about it. Yep. 
Nope, my bad. You hit the button. I did. Trying to be helpful. There's a button? Uh, yeah, at, at the, the bottom. bottom of the tracker. Mm -hmm. For when you're when it, done. You can hit end turn whenever whenever it's your turn. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. I'm going to... Demolish the target's corrupted essence. Wait, no, wait, hold huh? on. Wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> no, that doesn't affect the living creatures. No, oh, no. Oh, I wish Ooh. it did, though. Oh. Be funny. <laughs> I will cast a Vine Lance. So you're going to destroy its soul. I get yeah. it. So she, like, throws the spiritual javel. This fucking thing after she can'ts. That was so fucking cool. Holy shit. Thick. Gun! That guy is so Thick. fucking cool at missing. <laughs> Gun! Anything else? I think Avery uh, screams a bit at that. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, I think that's it. I, I don't have anything to do with my other action, I don't think. Alright. Hex! Hex. T. I'm going to Shroud of Night. Fuck. All right. It needs to roll a wheel save. Wheel save. Ah, it succeeded. Cool. Uh, I'm no longer hid undetected, right? Yeah, unfortunately, no. Um, I will try again. I I actually looked this up. This was my fault. You can only sustain once a turn unless the spell says otherwise. Okay, so I can't do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can still well, do any other action spell. Right. You can cast more than once on your turn. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's a nice change. Well, it has to be yeah, you, you, spells a take two cantrip actions. and a... Mm -hmm. No, no, no. You can cast as many times as you want. You just have to have the right amount of actions. Oh, all right. Well, then I will... Uh, since... Haste isn't just for fighters. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, since Azira is not in the line of danger, um, she's going to phase bolt again. Yeah. Roll uh, that attack. Roll attack. Oof. Could hear a point. Yeah, sure. That hits. Roll damage. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Spider gets hit. Gets, uh, it gets, like, knocked on its back and does the spider leg thing and then dies. As, uh... Hex, uh, Sierra comes out of uh, her hidden state because she hasn't moved the entire time, so there's no reason for her to lose her hidden state. Oh, I didn't know I kept hidden if I don't move. No, 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 no. You, you, you did, you did a hostile action. You did a hostile okay, action. Okay. <laughs> it's just if so long as you don't move while you're hidden, you stay hidden. Uh -huh. Moment you stay, moment you move though, people know that where where you are. Got it. All right, so. That is the end of the encounter, as this giant spider is dead. And that's where we're going to end session for today. Woo. Good job, everybody. I feel good being back in the swing of it. Heck yeah. I am so happy to be out of it. <laughs> <laughs> K. 
can't wait for you guys to get to the point where Noah died and then, you know, keep going. Or not. For a second, I thought you were just excited for Noah to die in this one <laughs> shot. I'm gonna kill oh, him. No, no. No, no, no. way to kill him. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually okay with it because, because I will have my vengeance. You know. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, fair. <laughs> <laughs> like he hasn't already exacted that vengeance. Hey, hey, hey! I need two. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been really fun so far. Yeah. Yeah. Pathfinder is <laughs> different, and it's nice that it's different. Yeah. I'm sorry, Jamie, that you haven't been able to do finisher stuff yet. Yeah, I promise no, you'll I get there. I'm fine. No, I understand. I'm like, these are <laughs> probably not going to be able to be charmed by my slick moves, so... Actually, yes, you, yes, they will. Oh, they will? Okay. Well. Yes. Yeah, they, any, you, can, you can do it on anything. Pipe, pipe, or ass. Uh... Oh. Anything can be charmed. Is yeah, it like anything... an action to do it? Yeah, yeah. It's so so for yours, yeah. for yours specifically, um, it's the fascinating performance. Yeah. You can perform whenever you like. All right. Is that just like a? Nope. Not yeah. Click if it. you click, if you click where it says perform. Uh, I pulled up a performance sheet. Yeah. Do you see where it gives you a bunch of actions yeah. to do for perform? Yeah. Yeah, any one of those works. And because you have the 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 focused fascination, mm -hmm. you don't need to critically succeed. I guess it I guess it would technically be dancing. Yeah. You can be any one of those things. You just need to, you know, figure out how to get to that point, you know what I mean? Okay. So like so like let's say let's say for whatever reason you were like a martial artist. Yeah. You could technically play percussion while you know using your feet or something like that. Or if you had a one-handed trumpet, you know, you could do trumpet and <laughs> use a rapier. Hmm. As a person who actually has played the trumpet a fair bit, the concept of a one handed trumpet you like do it you could do it <laughs> but like really the concept of doing though? it while why fighting though? would suck <laughs> but why though you can't do it with a baritone um although they're very I, I suppose like you know what i'm gonna retract that i think trumpet is probably the brass instrument you would want for a one-handed experience yeah. Now, of course, um, there's like the non-valved trumpets. Those would be pretty easy. Those are yeah, yeah. No, you could do the you could do the one where it's just like your hands on on the circular object on the like you know. How fun would it be though if you're playing the trumpet and you shoot magic spells out of it? That's a bard, yes. Yeah, but like <laughs> that'd be fun. Call that a bard. Uh, when you use hero points, does it automatically take it off of your sheet, or do you have to do it yes, yourself? Yes. Yes, it, it will automatically do it, okay. and actually, I can I can do this. I can reset everybody to one right now. No, you can't. I was already there. <laughs> okay, all right. Because I was still at three, and I'm like, I know I used one. Yeah, so so use them is 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 the is you the gain point. One every hour. Yep, use them. Use it's use them or lose them. Don't 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 be afraid to use them. All right. Uh, the other thing that hero points can do is if you are dying, and if you were to make a dying save, instead of making the roll, right, you can instead forgo the roll and use all of your hero points to make yourself stabilized and not even be wounded. Huh. Hmm. And when you say all, you just mean a generic all? If I have one, that works. If I have three, it just, it's three? Yeah, all of, it, it's, it, it takes all your hero points, no matter what. Okay. <laughs> no matter how many you have. Yeah. Okay. And if we get to the point, we'll talk about mythic points, but we'll do that later. We'll do that when you guys are trying to get to godhood. Mm. Send as gods. Or just be legends, or be an apocalypse, be be a herald of the apocalypse, or become a demon. At me. 
Please don't be a herald of, of the apocalypse. <laughs> I fucking knew you were gonna do that. No, I would never. Don't worry, Craig. Out of all the out of all the characters there, yours is gonna be the most interesting. <laughs> Yay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let everybody know right now. Whatever happens, it's Craig's fault. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Good to know Perf. that. <laughs> Blame Craig. Got it. Could have told you that. Come on. My character just vanishes in front of your eyes, kills things with purple sparkles. Come on, I can't be that scary. It's Craig's fault. No, I'm just talking about your general personality. At least my scary magic is whole. Just wait until I get some tarot cards and start pulling cards. <laughs> oh, double card, people die. You're not... It, it, hilariously, the legally distinct uh, deck of many things? Not that bad. No? No. Hmm. Not not nearly as uh, not nearly as fucked up. I fucking hate the guy the deck of many things. I hate it. It irritates me. I could go on a rant, but I won't. It Are is you talking a bad about thing. when you played Luden? I uh, no. I my general thought on the deck of many things is. When you give it to a party and you allow multiple people to draw, someone is always going to be walk away happy and someone's always going to walk away upset, if not everyone just upset. Mm -hmm. And so I just don't like it as a play fair with others. It makes sense. As players that play a game together, it is not ideal. <laughs> I honestly can't remember what specifically happened to Luden, but I know it wasn't good. <laughs> you got super docked, and then um, Jean got like a super awesome item that you wanted. Well, I mean, half the problem there was I was trying to play a uh, ranger with a bow, and our bard was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play a bard with a bow whose goal is to be better at you than you at Boeing. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but that'll never happen. I got turned into a baby. That's on brand so you know, for like, you. I, at least that's funny. That's I, I honestly brand. probably would have been happier turned into a baby. Because then I could have played at, not at a ranger. At least I'd be dead. <laughs> at least I'd be... No, it's okay. They, they, what they did was they took me to, to his god, to his god, and they were like, can you fix them? And he was like, I could do 10 years. Good enough. And he became the worst 10-year-old on the planet. Is that? So are you talking nice. about Alec? Yes. No, I was thinking that too. I'm like, Alec was A 10. Smart Alec, perhaps. Alec was the literal fucking worst thing on the planet. He, he, he glassed the desert. Not even Kira did that. Yeah. Why did he glass a desert? It was an accident. Wild magic. It happens. But yes, yes, obviously. It just happens. Mm-hmm. 